Why, hello there. I am Amelia Earhart. I was born on July 24th, the year of 1897. My birthplace was Atchison, Kansas, and my full name is Amelia Mary Earhart. During my childhood, I played with my sister Muriel a lot. My father was a drug addict, which was bad, so my parents got into a divorce. I was always a creative thinker, so I had an imaginary horse and some imaginary friends, named the DJs. When I got in trouble, I would blame it on them. When I was 10 years old, I saw my first plane. I thought of it as a thing of rusty wire and wood, not at all interesting. But that all changed when I had my first ride in an airplane. I actually attended six different high schools and, and only graduated from one of them. Hi, that high school was called Hyde Park High in L.A. I was once a nurse in, in World War I for Canada. One day I got called on the phone, and at first I thought it was a joke, but then I heard him say, Do you want to be the first woman to fly across the Atlantic? Why, yes. Yes, I would. When can I come down to your place and see what I have to do? And that is where I met the love of my life, George Putnam. We got married on February 7th, the year 1931. I call our marriage a partnership with dual control. I flew across the Atlantic, and that was really fun. I was the 16th woman to receive my pilot's license from the FIA. I then flew to lots of places. One time I went to Hawaii. Then my last flight came, and I said, I have a feeling that there is just about one more good flight left in my system, and I hope this trip is it. So I decided that I would try to be the first person to fly all the way around the world. So I went on a 29,000 mile journey and, I, and made it approximately 7,247 miles before I crashed. I got lost on July 2nd, 1931. Some of my quotes are, Prepare, Preparation, I have often said, is rightly two-thirds of any venture. The most effective way to do it is to do it. You never interrupt someone doing something you said couldn't be done. One of my greatest achievements are that I began my flying lessons with Netta Snook on January 3rd of 1921. Another one of my achievements is that in the July of 1921, I bought my first plane. It was called the Kinner Aster. I called it the Canary, though. So there is a little bit about my life, but I gotta go because I gotta fly.